These are the, are the best, best brakes, brakes in, the, in world. the world. Hold up. Shram, I'm sick of your sticky levers and having to rebuild them all the time. Shimano, I'm sick of having to not rebuild your levers and buy new ones. Let's talk facts. Shimano, Japanese manufacturing. Toyota, can't beat it. Shram, Ford engineering, not very reliable. Dot fluid, way more heat resistant. Mineral fluid, not as much. Your Ferrari does not come with mineral fluid. I definitely don't want Maguras or Hopes. We don't want English or German stuff on my bike. Think about the cars they make. They're always broken down. My preference in brakes is powerful, affordable, and reliable brakes. That rules out all the bougie brands because it's hard to get parts for them. Let's go do some scientific tests out in the real world. Wow, these Saint brakes are so powerful. Shram, wow, you lost this one fair and square. I was able to stop 12 inches sooner. I don't know about you, but I ride my bike on the dirt. No power available. Much more control with the SRAM code. Modulation, way better. I was able to do a much safer stop with the code lever. If you have a thousand horsepower Mustang, you're still going into a wall. Power isn't anything without control. SRAM takes it on this one. Shimano Saints, I was like clenching my teeth, worried about washing out. I do not like this lever. The SRAM code is way more controllable. That's two out of three for SRAM. The downside of the code is it's not as strong and the pads take a lot longer to heat up. The Shimano Z or Saint is really hard to control with my big hands. I could see people with small hands and a soft touch really enjoying these brakes. For my ogre hands, I totally prefer SRAM after this test. I just wish I could get Shimano Saint Power with the modulation of SRAM, but they don't make those kind of brakes, so we're screwed. Or can I make them? Watch this video up here. <laughs> 